Okay, we're looking at question six, and it says, which one of the following, if true, most weakens the economist's argument? I just love challenging economists. It's just my favorite thing to do in the world. Okay, so here we go. Um, this reminds me, this is hardcore Republican slash uh, business people, like let's keep the common man down type logic. That's the, what I would call this logic. And here it is, man. It's like, you know, it's almost like the rich people are like, look, you know, we really, really want to raise minimum wage. I mean, my gosh, we understand people are living in poverty and we want nothing more than to help those unfortunate people. If we could take the riches out of our pockets right now and hand it over, we would. But here's the problem. Well, if you raise minimum wage, then it's more expensive for businesses to pay for those employees. More moolah, more cash, tougher, tighter, more expensive to pay. And, and because businesses don't have, you know, an infinite amount of money, they can't afford to employ as many people. It's more expensive for people, finite amount of money, can't have as many people. So then, you know, what we get at is we're like, this is why we just can't raise minimum wage. Look, if we raise it significantly, okay, if we raise it more, you know, not just nominally, significantly, it'll actually cause an increase in unemployment. So, you know, if I was a destitute, poor person and I heard this, I'd be like, of course. Ah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I feel so much better now. It would actually be, wait a minute, if I got paid more, it would actually be worse. Okay, yes. Okay, so we have to go and attack this dude's argument. And so, you know, what is the argument is raising minimum wage significantly will cause an increase in unemployment. Okay, so let's take a look at the answer choices. Um, we'll start with E. The unemployment rate has been declining steadily in recent years. Well, this is just talking about the unemployment rate. It's probably because, according to this argument, we haven't raised minimum wage. Nah, I'm just kidding. This is just talking about what the unemployment rate has been doing over the, the past years. It doesn't weaken this. It's, it has nothing to do. The unemployment rate, what it's been doing in the past years, has got nothing to do with weakening this, okay? So let's look at D. Most workers are earning more than the current minimum wage. Well, that's out of scope because we're really talking about raising minimum wage, not those workers. We're not talking about the world of workers that are making more than minimum wage. We're talking about that small world where we have like unskilled laborers, supposedly. Um, and if you've gone to law school, let's just call yourself a minimum wage worker. And any law grad, um, you know, we pretty much don't know a damn thing anyways except for how to try to like get out of paying our debts, by the way. But, um, you know, it, it's not talking about the situation of most workers that are out there that earn more. We're talking about raising minimum wage. So that's out of scope, all right? And keep in mind, just keep thinking, we're trying to weaken this. We're trying to think of a situation where if we raise the minimum wage, it's not gonna result in this, okay? That's what you constantly need to be thinking about. See, a modest increase in unemployment is acceptable because the current minimum wage is not a livable wage. Well, <clears throat> you know, that, that's the thing. Um, does that weaken this argument if, if we say a modest increase in unemployment is acceptable? Um, it doesn't really do anything. It, it, it's almost like saying, even if you have this, we don't care, but we're looking to weaken this, okay? We're not willing to accept your conclusion and say, we don't give a damn. We're willing to boycott for our rights. It's not saying that, okay? Um, it's not asking us to do that. That's not weakening the argument, okay? Um, B, when the difference between minimum wage and a skilled worker's wage is small, a greater percentage of business, businesses' employees will be skilled workers. Right, okay, that's a fantastic observation. So you mean if a skilled worker costs the same as an unskilled worker, that there's gonna be a bunch of skilled workers? That's brilliant. I, mean, I tell you, I think, is this the economist that came up with this? That's wonderful. I, thank you so much for that observation. If you'll just excuse me, I'm trying to weaken this argument. Let's see what A is doing. Businesses typically pass the cost 
of increased wages onto consumers without adversely affecting profits. Okay, so raising the minimum wage causes unemployment. Why does it cause unemployment? Because it gets more expensive for business to pay and they can't afford it. This answer choice just totally weakens that because it says we pass the buck onto the uh, to the customers, man. So it's not more expensive. So it doesn't have to um, cause an increase in employment. All right, it's it's um, it's 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 the notion of when they increase a tax, right? It's not like um, you know businesses are automatically just going to go under. They just pass the cost on. Just pass the buck, man. That's the way it works. So, anyways, long story short, A is what weakens um, the argument.